Well, hey friends, welcome to another exciting episode of the Laptop Lifestyle Lounge. I'm your host, Jess Cassidy, and today we're talking all about creating irresistible offers that will have your audience saying, take my money. Crafting compelling products and services is not just about what you sell, but how you sell it. So grab your notebooks and get ready to uncover the strategies for crafting offers that your customers just can't resist. Let's kick things off by understanding the heartbeat of your business, your audience. Who are they? What keeps them up at night? Conduct market research, dive into customer feedback, and create detailed buyer personas. Understanding your audience's needs, desires, and pain points is really the first step towards creating offers that speak directly to their hearts and minds. If you're just putting out content, for that you resonate with and not who your ideal clients and customers and avatars are, you're not going to connect with them, right? So a fun tip, imagine that your ideal customer as a character in a story, right? What are their goals, their fears and aspirations? This exercise can help you empathize with your audience and tailor your offers to actually meet their needs. So now that you know your audience inside and out from doing those little games that we just talked about, um, and you totally understand who your person is, right? It's time to set yourself apart from the competition. What makes your offer stand out in a sea of all these other options? This is where your unique selling proposition comes into play, which is also known as your USP if you see it anywhere online. Whether it's superior quality, unmatched convenience, or exceptional customer service, your USP is the secret sauce that gets your offer apart and makes it irresistible to your audience, right? So that is the one thing that you do, you offer that makes you unique. What is your unique selling proposition? So a little idea for you is to host a brainstorming session with your team, your coworkers, or just some peers, right? And you can use this to identify your USP. Get creative and think outside the box. Sometimes the most unexpected features or benefits can become your biggest selling points. So having those little brainstorming sessions with others can really help you because sometimes you just need somebody's eyes on your business and your offers that has an outside perception, okay? So next, let's talk about packaging and pricing. Packaging and pricing, it can really make or break an offer. You know, that's one of the biggest things when people are creating their offers is how do you price it, right? How you present your products or your services can significantly impact your audience's perception of their value. Consider bundling complimentary products or services, offering irresistible bonuses or discounts, and creating urgency with limited time offers. Pricing strategies such as tiered pricing, value-based pricing, and pricing psychology can really help influence these purchasing decisions. A lot of times, like people think, oh, if I have you know, a really inexpensive offer, I'm going to sell tons of it. But the perception is for a lot of people on the outside, if it's really that cheap, they might not think that it's full of that value, right? And think about what you look for in the online products and services that you sign up for. So a quick little experiment that you can do is, you know, with a couple of different pricing strategies, just play with them a little bit and see how, you know, what resonates the best with your audience. You might be surprised by the results. Um, you know, this can be, you know, offering a higher price point. And one of the big things that I really see that makes a big difference is when you bundle your products and services and add those bonuses in there is when you put the value of each of those individual products. So you have your main offer and then whatever bonuses or, or discounts and stuff. If you show that value, that can really make a huge difference to people. So let's talk a little bit about the power of words. Compelling copywriting and messaging can really turn a lukewarm offer into must-have purchases, right? Use persuasive language, compelling headlines, and storytelling techniques to really create an emotional connection with your audience. You have to show them how your offer will solve their problems, fulfill their desires, or make their lives better in some way. Remember, it's not just about what you sell, it's about how you make your audience feel. 
So how can you do that? Well, get creative with your copywriting. Use some humor, some curiosity, or even a touch of nostalgia to capture your audience's attention and keep them engaged. Again, this comes right back to setting yourself apart from others, right? What can you do, show, and offer that proves that you're different and you can help solve their problems, okay? So last but not least, don't forget to test and optimize your offers. Just because you have an idea and you have your ideal client avatar there and you think that it's amazing, it might not resonate with your audience, right? So what works for one audience just might not work for another. And a lot of people, they build these offers, these products, and these courses for themselves and not for others. And that's a big problem. So what you really need to do is you have to get gather data, track key metrics, and iterate based on your findings. You have to adapt and overcome. Use A-B testing to experiment with different elements of your offers, such as pricing, packaging, or messaging, and see what resonates best with your audience. Now, a great way to do this um, A-B testing is to create um, different ads because a lot of people aren't gonna see them in the A-B categories, basically. They're going to see what's just presented to them. So you'll be able to see which ones connect with people more, which ones are showing up in more feeds, which ones people are interacting with, right? And this is not a one and done. Continuous testing and the optimizing of your offers and everything will help you refine your offers and maximize these conversions over time. So it's the one thing that you've got to constantly do to make sure that you're adapting and changing whatever needs to be done. So you can turn testing into a little game, okay? Challenge yourself and your team if you have one. These can be virtual assistants, coworkers, or even peers. Challenge them to come up with creative experiments to improve your offers. You might discover some hidden gems that you never would have thought of otherwise if you weren't having these little brainstorming challenge sessions, okay? So friends, that concludes our journey into the world of creating irresistible offers today. Now, this is just a little snippet of creating offers. Obviously, there's a lot of other things that go into this, you know, diving in deeper to your ICA, diving into the actual offer that's in there, the naming, diving further into the pricing and stuff. But this is a good start to get you going. And remember, crafting compelling products and services, it's both an art and a science. By understanding your audience, identifying your unique selling proposition, packaging and pricing strategically, crafting compelling copywriting, and testing and optimizing over and over and over, you can really create offers that your audience just can't resist. So go forth and unleash your creativity. The world is waiting for your irresistible offers. Cheers, my friends. I'll see you guys later and make sure you're joined into our free Facebook group. You can grab the link below. See you next time.